So um, batteries, staying with the lithium ion batteries, the biggest uh, barrier to the growth in this industry for a long time was the range anxiety for EVs and also the cost of EVs because the cost of batteries was so high. Um, you have in many ways addressed both. Um, you have um, looked at a range of 90 kilometers and you've got people who've been able to get to speeds of over 90 kilometers an hour. So uh, what was the journey of addressing cost versus range uh, when you were looking at the, your battery design, battery pack? So, um, so actually, while, while the vehicle has a stated range of 85 kilometers and our customers have done comfortably more than 100 now, uh, some customers have done 130 in the previous generation, so I expect those customers will probably touch 140, 145 in the new generation. But having said all of that, honestly, I'm not a, I, I'm somebody who thinks that the first wave of electric vehicles in the country, especially in the two-wheeler segment, um, don't have the problem with range anxiety. That's what I think. Um, and this, I definitely think that in the scooter space. I think range anxiety is a concept that we have just borrowed from, from cars in the US. Uh, Indian customers don't drive 30 kilometers to go to the nearest Walmart to, to, to buy uh, stuff. Uh, we do 25 kilometers a day. Uh, 30 kilometers is really the upper edge. Uh, somebody doing 50 kilometers is probably using the scooter as their primary livelihood. Uh, in people doing more than 70, 80 kilometers, I don't really know them. Like even delivery boys in places like Bangalore struggle to clock 80 kilometers a day. Um, so we always believed in this. Um, which is why the original concept of the vehicle was only to build 60 kilometers of range. Um, we bumped that up to 75 because by the time we got to production, cell chemistry had just improved. So what we thought will give us 60 kilometers kind of matured to doing 75 by the time we got to production. And that was great, but that was really not what the core business asked for us. And kind of staying with the theme, as the technology improved, the 75 became 85. But honestly, I would still put my money that a 60 to 70 kilometer range vehicle, a scooter, is good enough for the first wave of electric vehicles that will be sold right now. Obviously, there is a market, and, and I don't know if it is like 50% of the market or 70% of the market. There's a large market that sits that will probably flip once, once scooters cross the 100 kilometer range uh, barrier. Uh, and, and, and they cross it consistently. I mean, like already our certified ranges are more than 100 kilometers. But I mean, a city range is like the actual numbers that people will get with a bunch of duels, triples happening. Uh, once that number is north of 100, a lot of people will start switching in large numbers. But the reality is those people are not going to buy electric vehicles today. Those people are going to wait. They are early adopters. They're not early adopters. They are the majority customers, right? Early adopters, I firmly believe 60 to 75 kilometers range is a good number. Everything beyond that is, 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 is great to have, but it's not a real need. So that's how we always thought about range. Um, and that's how we thought about cost. So our costs were always built for a vehicle that will do something between 60 to 75. Uh, everything that we've gotten above that has been a little bit of a free journey and we're glad to have it. But as long as it does not increase cost. Um, if it increases cost, we would rather cut down on range and, and actually drop cost. That makes sense. That's how we thought.